Attention photographers. Are you leaving money on the table by not selling product to your clients? Let's talk about how to do it. I get it. As photographers, we hate sales. We hate selling. We hate everything it represents. Why? Because most of you believe that sales feels like used car salesmen, right? Like it's that icky feeling you get, right? If you don't buy now, we'll delete all your files. I'm not advocating that, but that's how it feels sometimes. And I'm promising you all the years that I've been doing in-person sales, the one thing we pride ourselves on is not that. We don't want our clients to feel like they're being sold to. Instead, we try to position ourselves as the trusted advisor. Think about something for a second. They came to you. They came to you for not only your service, but really your expertise. That's why they came to you. And so if you have that in the back of your mind, you realize that by just handing them a thumb drive of digital images, you're really doing a disservice to, uh, to them. Uh, instead, what you should be doing is showing them how to put product up in their home so that they can display all this incredible art that you created. That is what clients want. Whether you want to believe that or not, well, that's a different conversation. But I promise you, that is ultimately what they want. Now, I'm going to share this story with you. It almost seems like it's, it's uh, you know, too good to be true. Uh, and I won't tell you this like every client says it to me. But one client recently said to me, it was a wedding client. We sat down. This is in the last six months. We sat down in, uh, in my sales room and I'll show you pictures of my sales room here in a second. We sat down in our sales room and I'm walking her through my price sheet. And she says to me, what's with the digital files? I'm like, well, what do you mean? I'm like, that's for you to have for, you know, archive for your social media. She's like, I know, but who's printing all these pictures? I'm like, well, we'll, all, we offer prints, it just caught me off guard, right? I mean, I was a little taken aback uh, by it. And then I started realizing, I'm like, you're my dream client. Uh, she, she's like, yeah, I get it. I'll post on social media. She's like, but she's looking around my sales room and she sees all these big pictures on the wall. And she says, but you're going to print all this for us, right? And I'm like, well, well, yeah, if you want us to, I'm like, I'd love for you to buy for me because we're going to obsess over the image, we're gonna finalize the edit, we're gonna inspect it, make sure everything's right, we're gonna get you the right product. She's like, okay, good, because I have a job. And I just, I started laughing in that moment because, well, that's what we want all our clients to say, right? I mean, we want them to come to us and trust us to handle all this because, well, I don't want a scrapbooking mom, right, who's coming to me because they just want a thumb drive, dig a CD, DVD, whatever it's been over the years. Of files. I want to be able to deliver a final product to my client. And so I think if you have that in the back of your head and realize that you are in fact the trusted advisor and that they came to you for a reason, that anything less than you delivering a complete experience to them, I think is failing. Not only are you failing your business, you're failing your client, right? You're leaving money on the table and you're not delivering a full end-to-end -end service. So let's talk about this a little bit. How do we get there? How do we how do we successfully navigate IPS? And one of the things I, I, I'm gonna hammer you over the head with is you have to show it to sell it. And so I learned this early on in my career that if I did not show that product to them via sample products, if I did not show it to them, uh, I was not gonna be able to sell it. And so, you know, my lab of choice is H&H &H Color Lab. If you're a new customer to H&H, &H, you can get, I don't even, I don't need to give you a code, I don't need to sell you anything. As a new customer, you'll get 25% off uh, your first order. Add samples, show clients uh, what products you offer, whether that's metals, acrylics, canvas, and showcase your best work, right? Uh, don't try to sell a wedding client and show them a senior canvas. They're not gonna be able to make the connection. So unfortunately, sometimes that means you've gotta have a lot of different samples in your studio. But that, when I say samples, it's not only the type of product, right? Canvas, acrylic, metals, albums. It's also the size of product. So when I first opened my studio, I didn't have enough room to put large prints on the wall. Uh, and when I say my first studio, I was working out of my basement. Uh, like many of you probably, right? We all start somewhere. But as I moved into a bigger space, one of the things I did, and I tell this story all the time, is I got a 30 by 40 
And as soon as that 30 by 40 was on the wall, I was able to sell my clients on 30 by 40s easily because they see it and they can visualize it and it was easy to sell. So I can't drive this point home enough that you've got to show it to sell it. That is the number one thing you can do for your in-person sales to make it seamless, right? And non-salesy. Because now at this point, you're just, you're just kind of navigating your customer through the, through the universe. Here's what we offer. Here's the type of product, right, that we offer. Here's how much it'll be, et cetera, et cetera. If you're not quite sold on IPS yet, right, you, you've got to, I want you to think about a few things, right? How do you sell large prints without offering IPS? It's very difficult to do uh, because you're just telling, you're just throwing sizes at them, right? So if you throw a price list together, meaning you do it online, right? Hey, tell me what size you want. In a customer's mindset, an eight by 10 is huge to them, right? But we all know that an eight by 10 on any size wall is going to look utterly ridiculous. But if you show them on the wall, a 20 by 30, a 30 by 40, and you show it to them in space, meaning it's on a wall and there's things around it, they can visualize like, oh, well, that's about the size of the wall in our house. So now the number you're throwing out is with context. Whereas when they're just looking at a price sheet at eight by 10 or 30 by 40, there's no context to it. So it just sounds huge when it's really not. So that's why IPS, in-person sales, becomes so powerful because now you're doing this um, face to face with them. And again, can't stress this enough, being the trusted advisor. I always like to say with IPS, kiss, right? Keep it simple, stupid. What does that mean by keep it simple? First of all, stop assuming your clients only want digital. That's just not true. They, they don't only want digital. A majority of our clients, when I say majority, 98% want the full experience. They want product on their walls. That's why they're coming to us. So if you've built your business around people just wanting digital files or you do these $20 mini sessions and then you're delivering you know, four digital images, you've built that business model for yourself. And I'm not saying maybe it's making you enough money. I don't know. I'm just telling you, you could make more money. And I've never met anyone who's just like, you know what? I got enough. I'm good. Said no one ever, right? So you've got you've to start thinking that way. The right clients will, will find you, right? So you're putting out this kind of thing into the universe and the clients are going to find you, right? So clients who come to us know that we, we are a full service studio. If you're a shoot and burner or you're doing mini sessions, the clients who come to you are going to be looking for mini sessions. Haphazardly, someone might find you that wants more and haphazardly, someone might find me who just wants digital files. But at the end of the day, right, you've got to build a business model that is sustainable for you, your family, your retirement, whatever the case may be. So I'm going to show you my studio here real quick. Um, and so you're looking at, uh, in this picture, you're looking at a TV screen. That's what they see when they walk in. Uh, flanking the TV are two 30 by 40s vertical, right? They're not taking up that much wall space. Forget that I have tall ceilings. Width-wise, that's a small side table in anyone's home. And by having those two 30 40s there flanking the TV, it makes it easy for us to sell 30 by 40s. Super easy. We hardly ever get pushback from people saying, no, it's just too big. How, how so? You don't have a tiny table and you're, I mean, you know what I mean? And so it becomes much easier. It's non-combative. It's now we're navigating them and showing them all these different uh, sizes. And then I'll show you in this next slide, you're seeing, if you look on the walls there, you see what the products are. So these, I'm a huge believer in offering unique products. If you want to offer a unique product to your client, you've got to offer something that they can't get at Sam's Club, they can't get at um, Walmart, Walgreens, right? They can pretty much get canvas and prints almost anywhere. The rest of it though, they, it becomes a little bit more specialty products. And that's why we like to offer specialty products, specialty sizes. And so this Torn Edge Fine Art product uh, is exclusive to H&H. &H. Uh, it's a product that we were part of developing with them because we wanted that elevated product, edge. That's what the word edge comes from, edge. I want to have an edge over my competitors. And we created an entire product line that was edge-based, focused on helping me grow uh, that part of my business. Torn Fine Edge is a fine art print, okay? And I'm going to throw the link down in the description uh, for you. It's fine art paper, and then it's mounted 
on basically a wood block with textiles. So it's like 30, 40 different materials that you can customize there uh, for them. So this product line, my clients look at that and they go, we've never seen anything like that. It's so unique. It's so, well, when clients start saying it's so unique, it's so this, it's so that, I mean, cha-ching, they're gonna spend money, right? And that's what you have to offer your clients. So I want you, you know, look, H&H &H is the lab we, we choose. Whatever lab you work with, you should be looking for unique products. And if they don't offer unique products, then it's time to start looking for another lab. It's that simple, right? I wanna work with a lab that's innovative, uh, that is gonna help my business grow. And I can tell you, H&H &H has, has committed to family-owned business and they are committed to helping photographers grow, which a lot of other labs are as well, right? So just make sure that whomever you're working with it's geared towards unique products because prints and canvas, while they are staples in our business, they can get them anywhere. So you can only charge so much for that stuff. Trying to sell my client on a $50 eight by 10 when they know they can go to Walgreens and get an eight by 10 for $2, maybe even cheaper, I don't know. How do, how do, I, how do I square that circle, right? You can't. Is it square the circle or circle the square? It's square the circle. I think that's what you say. I don't know, I screw this up all the time. I think that's what happens when you get old. You just start screwing sayings up. I'm pretty sure. You just say whatever. All right, so how does this all work? How do you get this going? How do you make this work? How do you, how do you get your clients to buy in? I think it just comes down to you realizing that you have to educate your clients on this stuff. You don't have to be cheesy about it. You're just educating them on it. And that's ultimately what it's all about. Educate them on the process, right? I remember when I was coming up and it was uh, all this cheesy crap that photographers would do. You know, they'd be like, our paper is professional quality and, and this paper is not. And they'd show paper from like Walgreens or and then their professional lab. Hey, I, I got news for you. I'm not sure if you guys all know this. Literally the same equipment that is in Walgreens and in uh, Sam's Club is the same equipment your labs are using. There is no difference. Now the machines may not be calibrated correctly. That's a true statement. The dumbass teenager running the machine, they may not know what they're doing. That's also a true statement. But the reality is, it's the same same stuff. So I don't want to compete that way, right? And so I'd rather educate my clients on why would you buy from us rather than going from Walgreens? Well, every image that you buy from us is fully retouched, okay? Well, that's something that's important to them. I'm not gonna retouch if I shoot a wedding 1,200 images. I'm not fully retouching that. That's not gonna happen. But my bride now knows, okay, yes, I'm gonna pay Sal a little bit more money, but he's gonna fully retouch every image uh, that I order as a print. That's a value added service for them. So now they're get, not getting stuck on the price of an acrylic or a metal or anything like that, right? We inspect each print for damage and accuracy. Okay, we warranty each print. These are all things that matter to my client, right? So these are all value added services, if you will, uh, that clients care about, which makes selling in person a, a lot easier. But we're back to the same thing, aren't we? Being the trusted advisor. So one of the other tools that we use in our business uh, that has helped in-person sales is a tool called Envu, uh, n-vu.com, check them out. In there, it's an online web gallery. It's an all-in-one tool. It's an incredible tool. We've been using that for years as well. Uh, I, don't, I don't wanna get into how to use the tool or review the tool. I just wanna focus on one feature. One of the features uh, there is a, a tool called Room View. And I'm, show, I'm gonna show you some of these rooms here. What this allows us to do is show a client what their print framed size would look like on a wall. Uh, it could be the room of their home. They can send you a text message uh, with their, a picture, just a picture of their wall. Uh, and then it can show you on that wall what it's gonna look like over the staircase, next to a TV, whatever they want. And if they don't, there's, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, 50 mocked up rooms uh, built into the system already. So you can pick a living room or a bedroom or something like that. So standard over the couch. Uh, this tool has made it incredibly simple for us to show our clients what it's gonna look like, rearrange them, smaller sizes, bigger sizes. That has helped the process. So where are we again? we're back to being the trusted advisor. I'm not selling them anything, I'm guiding them. And our clients are appreciative of it. The first time you get a client that spends a significant amount of money with you, the first time you get them to say thank you 
and then they paid you money, you're gonna walk out of that sales room and be like, I can't believe I haven't been doing this because they just spent money with you, but they're thanking you. Now think about your own life. Haven't you gone places where you've spent money and you had such an incredible experience, you're now thanking them? And then you think like, well, what, what am I thanking you for? I, I just spent, it's just how it works, right? So give them the experience, be the trusted advisor, guide them through the process, explain everything to them, and you're not selling. It's not gonna be icky. It's not gonna feel icky uh, at all. You know, the last thing I wanna touch on with you, and I, and I kind of briefly touched on this, is your product offering. What you offer your clients is going to make in-person sales either difficult or hard. And I think, once again, this is where maybe setting up a new account with H&H &H and taking advantage of that 25% off new customer deal um, will really go a long way. In my opinion, you should be offering your clients prints and canvas, those are staples. Metals, acrylics, and albums. You sh those three products, metals, acrylics, albums, and then maybe something fine art, like that fine art edge. Those products elevate your brand. And it's not enough to just say we offer them because think about it, if your client sees something that's called fine, fine art edge print, what does that mean? Nobody knows what that means, but you gotta show it to them, right? So we're back to show it to sell it. And so every year what we like to do in our studio, honestly, you see that picture of my studio, we just refreshed it. So every year, call it year and a half, we step back and we go, okay, what, what new images have I taken? Surely we've taken some iconic images in a year and a half. Update those, show fresh stuff. Every trade show we go to, we go look at around the, the trade show, go to the labs, look at what they're offering, and just see, is that a product I can incorporate into my business? Is that a product I can charge more for? Edge products from h and you've gotta check these out, guys. I'm gonna put a link right here, or here. I never know which side. Do you know what's, I'm gonna do it though. I'm gonna put a link, it's gonna be my first time or maybe my second time in a YouTube video. But I'm gonna put a link here to the Edge product or here, it's somewhere, click it and learn more about it. But I think adding this to your business, um, to your product offering is gonna elevate and help you make more money in the sales room. And then of course, albums. You should be offering your clients albums from weddings. Don't just deliver a, a CD or a thumb drive of images, right? Uh, deliver a final product. And I always tell my clients, this is your, especially wedding clients, this is your first family heirloom together. That's a true statement, okay? And by delivering it that way, they, 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 they have more appreciation for what we're offering them. But don't just offer a crappy album. Like, get best of breed. Yes, it's more expensive, but pass that cost on to your clients because now you're offering the best of the best. And now you can go to them and say, this is, you know, fine art paper, Italian leather, handmade. When I'm talking to my clients and explaining this to them, I mean, maybe it's a, sa a sales shtick, but it's the truth. So I'm being truthful with them and explaining to them what they're holding in their hand. I don't just put an album in their hand and say, yeah, we offer albums. Well, now you're downplaying what you offer, right? Instead, I'm explaining to them why this is so incredibly valuable, right? If you think about it this way, this will be the last thing I leave you with. If you just go into and buy a car, you could make the argument that, well, a Kia is the same as a Ferrari, right? It's got four wheels, it'll take you from point A to point B, right? That's how the uh, Kia dealership might position it. But I promise you, if you go into a Ferrari dealership, they are not positioning it that way, right? They're positioning it as all the, Ita all the leather is Italian leather, hand cut, hand sewn, by a seamstress, not a machine, right? Each seat takes 20 hours to make, whatever it is, I have no idea, never been in a Ferrari dealership. But they are explaining what makes this so unique. That's also part of the process, is ex your sales process should be explaining to your customers the details of those products. So when I start working with a new lab and I start working with new products, I start asking, all these questions about how's this made? What kind of products is it, you know, are used to make it? Is it archival? Uh, what options do I have in the, the colors or you know, right, all these things? Why? Well, I wanna know so that I can explain this to my clients and again, be the trusted advisor. And so, thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you. 
I hope it uh, gets you a little bit more excited about doing you know, in-person sales and selling large prints to your clients. But this is the path, this is the journey. You guys can do it, make 2023 yours. We'll see you in the next video.